welcome back to our series on introductory statistics. I'm Mark Ledbetter and this is lecture video 28 part C and we are continuing in section 8.1. This is part 6 of that section. So I hope you enjoy the pre-recorded video. So X bar we found out was 172.55, sigma is 26, and N is 40. Okay. So we need to find this value z sub c, okay? So here we have, and we've said that we want, b says construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of men. Mean is mu, okay? We're estimating the population mean. All right, so we've drawn our picture and for z sub c, it will always be like this. The only thing that's going to change is this number here. And that's based on what confidence level we've been told. So the remaining um, is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05. So that's how much uh, area is left in both of these uh, tails here. And again, we have to put half of this in each tail. So 0 0.05 divided by 2 equals 0 0.025. And I'm going to put another 0 there so that I make sure that I remember that this is a area, an area inside the table. Okay, I'm looking inside the table for this number so I can find this number. Once I have it, I have z sub c as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my z table and look for 0 0.0250. I'm gonna get rid of my scribble here and I need 0 0.0250 and I found it right here. So it's good to use a ruler or straight edge or something, uh, something that won't leave a mark on your table if you're using a um, piece of paper. So on this side, it's negative 1.9, and above it is 6. So this is going to be a z of negative 1.96. So this is negative, whoops. negative 1.96, that means z sub c is positive 1.96. z sub c will always be positive. Negative z sub c, 1.96, tells me that z sub c equals a positive 1.96e, which is equal to z sub c times sigma over the square root of n. z sub c is a positive 1.96. Sigma is 26, and I need the square root of 40, okay? Now, when I get my calculator, and I multiply 1.96 times 26 divided by the square root of 40, I get 8.05748. And, um, yep, so I've got z sub c is here, and I see that I have uh, written this on the wrong line. So I'll write it down here. This is going to be um, for e. So that was 26 over the square root of 40, and that gave me 8.05748. And since I have two decimal places for both x bar and sigma, I'm going to use, round this to two decimal places, one, two, three. All right, so 8.06 pounds. Okay, so this is E. Now, I plug into my formula for the CI. That's this formula here. So X bar was 172.55 minus E, which is 8.06. Then I have mu, then I have 172.55 plus 8.06. And so 172.55 plus 
plus 8.06, or I'm sorry, yeah, we'll do the top one first over here. That's going to give me 180.61. And the smaller one, so smaller value always goes on the left, larger value always goes on the right. So 172.55 minus 8.06 is 164.49. Now, that's as far as we got last time. But there's a step further. So far, everything we've done has been a calculation. It has not really been statistics. Now we're going to do statistics with this. And we do this with our interpretation. So the first thing that we need is our confidence level, which is C. And C was 95%. So we are 95% confident that the interval, now I'm going to use these two numbers that I just calculated and I'm going to put them in interval notation with the smallest number first and the largest number second. Okay. And then we have to describe the true population. What is it? It's the mean true population mean weight of men. And I like to add using a simple random sample of n equals 40 equals 40 where did I go wow <laughs> my iPad uh, if I touch the wrong thing it sends me all the way to the top I'm sorry using a simple random sample of n equals 40 uh, individuals. Okay. So, here's our interpretation, and it always needs to be in this form. You use this form every time you'll get this part of it right, and this is the most important part. What we're telling people who have not had statistics, if I tell you, told you before today, we are 95% confident that the this interval, um, 164.49 pounds and 180.61 uh, pounds uh, that the, contains the true mean weight of men, and we used a simple random sample of 40 men, I think you would have a good, pretty good idea of what I was talking about. So when we say confident, People understand confident. We say something in the 90 plus percent, that sounds good. So we are 95% confident that the interval 164.49 pounds, pounds to 180.61 pounds contains the true population mean weight of men using a simple random sample of n equals 40 individuals. Okay, so that puts into common terms all of the technical things we just did to create a confidence interval. I hope this uh, video helps you with the homework and have a good weekend. Well, that's the end of this video. So please remember to scan your lecture notes before midnight of the day on the course calendar. Uh, if you have questions, by all means, please come to virtual office hours. I am happy to help you. And if you can't do that, then, then by all means, email me. But when you email me, please email me a picture of both the problem, because I may not have access to that problem wherever I am, and a picture of your work, which allows me to know uh, how you're approaching the problem and help you best and the quickest. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Until then, stay safe and take care.